back. Big story. Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh has hit back at Parambir Singh, Commandant General of the Home Guard of Maharashtra. Anil Deshmukh says he will file a defamation case against Parambir Singh. He says this is a conspiracy by Parambir Singh to discredit me. Deshmukh also says why was Parambir Singh sitting quietly for so long on the evidence, alleged evidence that has been put forward by Parambir Singh in his letter to the Maharashtra Chief Minister, Uddhav Thakre. Deshmukh says this was an effort to gather evidence or put together evidence after it became clear that Parambir Singh was on his way out. Vase is very close to Parambir Singh, was reinstated by him. He's also saying that ACP Patil is also extremely close to Parambir Singh. And that is why these officers, their statements have been taken as evidence. I quickly want to cut across to India today's Mustafa Sheikh breaking this big story. Mustafa, you were telling us that Anil Deshmukh refuses to go down without a fight. He's hitting back. He says these charges are motivated. Bring us details. Yes, of course, there are many points listed out by Anil Deshmukh in his statement, one of which is that uh, there is an uh, uh, attempt to blackmail uh, the government by making such false allegations. Anil Deshmukh uh, once or uh, repeatedly many times is saying that in the Vaze case where uh, 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 Sachin Vaze has been arrested, the links are pointing out to Parambir Singh. You can understand the amount of rivalry going on at this point of time in Maharashtra's home department is that the Home Minister is saying that the former top cop is in, uh, involved in the crime and hence is doing it to defend him, himself. The other point he has mentioned is that Parambir Singh was planning something like this and hence he uh, texted uh, the ACP and got all these message, all these responses on a message so that it can be produced as, as an evidence. The important point here also is that Anil Deshmukh is saying that he will file a defamation suit against Parambir Singh for making this allegation and saying that all the allegations should be investigated by the chief minister. So as we were saying, that it's an all-out war and from both the sides there are allegations being exchanged. The only fear for MVA government and the chief minister is that what new about this government will come out if this rivalry continues because these are two people who are one of most of the important people in the home department or in the state, if they are at loggerheads, their rivalry could lead to a lot of bins uh, uh, coming out in public, which will not be a good thing for the MBA government, which is already on a back foot for a high-profile officer to be arrested, then CP to be transferred, and then allegations of say, serious misconduct against the home minister. Back to you. Far more grave than serious misconduct. The allegation is extortion and extortion to a tune of 100 crore rupees where, according to this letter by Parambir Singh, accessed by India Today's Mustafa Sheikh, details have been listed out that there are 1,750 dance bars, restaurants and other establishments in Mumbai. Even if 2 to 3 lakh rupees are taken from every establishment, there will be 40 to 50 crore rupees collected every month and the target set for... Sachin Vaze allegedly was 100 crore rupees. But in response to that, Anil Deshmukh has written that former commissioner of police in Mumbai, the allegations made against me by Parambir Singh are false. It's a conspiracy hatched by him to discredit me and the Mahavikas Agadi government in self-defense. I would like to draw your attention to some important points. And one of the most important points here, uh, something that Parambir Singh must answer uh, if, if this investigation is taken forward, Mustafa, is why was Parambir Singh sitting quietly for so many days after Sachin Vaze was arrested? Why didn't he open his mouth about this alleged corruption just then if he was aware of it? Well, yes, Gaurav, uh, for, for the time being, for some time, the uh, timing of uh, Parambi Singh coming out with these allegations may matter. But the point also remains is, is that he is saying that he informed off record uh, and briefed all the important people, be it Sharad Pawar or be it the chief minister, about all these things which are happening. The more important point is of the allegations which he is making, a sitting IPS officer making such allegations and it's all likelihood. He knows the entire law and judiciary system in and out. He would be not making a statement which he couldn't 
prove in the court of law if tomorrow he has to stand in one. So there is a clear cut uh, uh, allegation which has been made and that is the most uh, severe setback for the government and for the Home Minister is that the serving IPS officer has made specific allegation. The timing of it, it be questioned. It can be alleged that he is disgruntled because he was shunted out of the uh, uh, pr prime posting and given a side posting. But at the same point of time, it cannot be disregarded that the allegations which he is making is severe and he is only making it from the side of Mumbai Police Commissioner and the Home Minister runs the entire state police machinery. Was it a widespread thing? Was it one off thing? And uh, whether Parambir Singh can give evidences tomorrow if this case has to be proved in the court of law? Back to you. In fact, if you see this letter dated 20th March 2021, which is today's date, point number six is perhaps a response uh, to what Anil Deshmukh is saying. And if I could quote, at one of the briefing sessions in the wake of the Antilla incident held in mid-March 2021, when I was called late evening at Varsha to brief you, you being the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Uddhav Thakre, I had pointed out several misdeeds and malpractices being indulged into by the Honourable Home Minister. I had similarly briefed the Honourable Deputy Chief Minister, Maharashtra, the President of the Nationalist Congress Party, Sri Sharad Pawar, and other senior ministers also about the misdeeds and malpractices. Now, this would indicate that it's been made public only now or mentioned to the Chief Minister in writing only now, Mustafa, but one-on-one, -on -one, this information had been shared by the, D by the then Police Commissioner Parambir Singh with the powers that be at the Mantrale. Yes, of course, and that is the important point, is that there was all the important people who were informed by Parambir Singh. That's why uh, there is a statement which is coming from the NCP sources saying that the sh that Sharad Pawar was not happy with Anil Deshmukh and hence he was called all the way to Delhi to meet Pawar. But at the same point of time, what is uh, uh, a fact is that these allegations have come out in public and only then there will be an action taken against Anil Deshmukh. The point here to make Gaurav is that why not take action if somebody is doing wrong in the right time? Why to wait for evidences to come out in public, the public opinion to build up, the opposition to target the government and then take action? Because that is what is uh, 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 reflecting very badly on this government. First, they did it with Sachin Vaze, then with Parambir Singh and now likely to happen with Anil Deshmukh. So that is one point of crisis which the MVA government needs to deal with is that whether are they going after the people who are doing Anil wrong Deshmukh in the system? or whether to maintain this three-party yes. coalition, they are compromising. Anil Deshmukh then goes on to say that it is a larger plot by Parambir Singh. Bring us details of this larger plot where he says Parambir Singh wanted to collect evidence systematically while getting answers from this chat. You can see from this chat how impatient Parambir Singh was. He repeatedly asked by ACP Patil, what does this indicate, Mustafa? Well, the sources in the MVA government are saying that this has been done by Parambir Singh uh, on the orders of the BJP. There is a political conspiracy which is going on to target the MVA government and hence Parambir Singh has written this letter and made it public. That's the allegation which is coming from the NCP and other coalition partners of the Mahavikas Agadi government. But even if that is true, the point to still discuss would be whether there are facts in the letter which he has written, whether he can back it with evidence. And if that's the case, then there is some real cause of problem and worry for the entire MBA government, specifically for Anil Deshmukh. Back to you. Okay. It is extremely significant, extremely significant, these points that are being leveled, uh, the point-by-point point rebuttal that is coming uh, from Anil Deshmukh. But as far as Sharad Pawar is concerned, as far as Uddhav Thakre is concerned, can you get us details, Mustafa? Is this meeting still on at Varsha? Uh, video conferencing with the Chief Secretary and other ministers in the Maharashtra government is the aim to, to perhaps ask Anil Deshmukh to step down pending inquiry as the opposition demands? Or does Anil Deshmukh want to stay on and clear his name? Well, the main point for the Chief Minister is at this point of time is that Sharad Pawar has to take a call soon 
on Anil Deshmukh. That is the main important point, the main important message coming out from the sources in Sena that because it was Anil Deshmukh was Sharad Pawar's choice at the first place and hence he should decide on it because uh, Sharad Pawar is also playing an important role in the entire coalition and hence he is the one who has to take the call and tell Anil Deshmukh to resign to put in his paper and the pressure for that is rising. That would be just the immediate thing to do. The other point of thing, uh, point reflection would be whether there are some more serious allegations against other ministers that MVA government should look into because uh, the government seems to be standing at the point where they cannot anymore uh, ignore uh, the complaints which, which is being made by the police department, by the bureaucracy because oh, things absolutely. are coming out in public. And also, the important point Stay remains with me. That's is a that very a lot big of point. things has very, to, very to come out point you're uh, after there. Sachin Vajra's interrogation. Yes. Yes, the, the fact that questions are now being raised, whether this was happening only in the home department of Maharashtra or was it happening in other departments? And I have Sahil Joshi joining me for more on this. Um, few people understand the politics and events in Maharashtra better than Sahil Joshi. And he has a hawkeye on what's happening in the mantralay. Sahil, what's happening at this meeting at Uddhav Thakre's residence? What's the next course of action? Anil Deshmukh refuses to go down without a fight. He's responded virtually point by point to every point raised by Parambir Singh. What next? You know, the first thing uh, what we can be very clear about is that what we were expecting that Anil Deshmukh is likely to resign as uh, has been told by uh, some of the sources is that right now Anil Deshmukh is in, not in a mood to resign at all. And uh, he has asked for an inquiry from the chief minister himself. The last line of the statement which Mustafa was reading out at this point of time, I can just, if I can just read it out, the Chief Minister should conduct an impartial inquiry into the allegation made by Parambir Singh. That's what uh, he is also saying now. He is saying that there should be an inquiry into the allegations by the Parambir Singh. But one important point which I would like to point out, in the whole uh, uh, statement, he has not said that he has never met uh, Sachin Waze independently. He had never called Sachin Waze. Neither he has clarified about his personal secretary, uh, Palande, whose name has been mentioned by Parambir Singh. But he, though uh, uh, important point he wants to point out, he says that there is a conspiracy by Parambir Singh when he realized that he might be booked by the NIA in this particular case and that's why he's doing it and he is threatening Parambir Singh with, uh, 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 you know, the defamation case. Now, now he's trying to take the fight to the next level altogether. That's what is very clear at this point of time. He's in a defiant mood. He is not going to resign so soon. That's what he's trying to indicate. But, but that is not the case. The way things have moved since last, uh, since the time this Sachin Vaze episode has come out in light, and the way Sachin Vaze is being paraded on Mumbai streets by NIA at various locations, it's as if that Mumbai police's reputation is at stake. Not only Mumbai police's reputation, it is also the Maharashtra government's reputation. And that is why, why I'm saying Maharashtra government's reputation is because the way it happened in the Maharashtra assembly, the, the home minister could not answer most of the questions raised by uh, the leader of opposition. And that is the reason why the NCP hierarchy, the NCP leadership has taken this lapses really seriously. It's not going to stop at Parambir Singh. If not today, maybe tomorrow or maybe in few days, there will be a cabinet reshuffle in Maharashtra. And uh, you know, the sources say that Anil Deshmukh is going to lose his uh, uh, department. Whether he will not be inducted in the cabinet or not, that is a different decision to be taken. But it's likely that he might lose the department which, which he's been heading since 2019. First of all, Anil Deshmukh was the most Charges unlikely candidate grave. to become the Home Minister when this government was formed. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes, Gaurav. That's, what I'm, that's, what, I'm, that, that's what I'm coming back, coming, coming at. Yes. Extreme, extremely grave and most importantly, the charges had not been levied by, uh, you know, some constable or a PSI or some officer uh, who might be disgruntled. I mean, uh, uh, the charges have been levied by the Director General of Police, whom uh, the Home Minister himself made the Police Commissioner uh, a, a year back. Uh, and now, uh, Police yes. Commissioner is saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he was calling Sachin Vase directly and, uh, you know, giving him targets. Whereas the Anil Deshmukh now says, you know, so this bickering between, this fight between the Home Minister and the top officer in Maharashtra Police is definitely it's creating issues. It's fratricide, And it, it is not only Parambir Singh. If you remember, Huge. the direct... Yes. Yes. Go on, go on quickly. Yes. Go on, sir. Right. If you remember, 
the director general of Maharashtra, Subodh Jaiswal, just a few 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 months back, he asked for the deputation in centre, and now he has been made a CISF chief. The stories which are coming out is that even Subodh Jaiswal was not happy with the way the Home Department was being conducted. He was the top officer of Maharashtra Police, and then now uh, this second incident that some what other DG Pandey? level officer yes. is making allegations again Anil, yes. uh, against Anil Deshmukh. Uh, against Anil Deshmukh, it's something which is which is something uh, uh, you know now that the government will have to think about. Uh, there is a damage control betting which is going on at this point of time. How should we tackle this uh, okay. this particular episode? Should we ask Anil Deshmukh to step aside and then conduct an inquiry, or Anil Deshmukh should remain in the position? Is that what is being considered right now? But that will not be decided in this meeting. It will have to be decided by Sharad Pawar okay. himself, and only after that Anil Deshmukh can be removed from the position he is in at this point of time. The charges here in these eight pages are explosive. And as Devendra Fadnavis just said, just a short while back, more explosive than the explosives that were found outside Antela, those 20 gelatin sticks. And we'll be tracking the story very, very closely. Mustafa and Sahil, stay with me a quick break. I'll be back with lots more on this explosive story about a Director General Rank Officer levelling grave charges of extortion against the Home Minister of Maharashtra. All that and much more on India Today. Stay with us. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.